The Red Wings of Bennett Academy travel out west to face the Moline Maroons for some Friday night lights. Both teams won their season openers and look to keep their perfect records as Bennett Academy beat Moline in a close contest 24-21 this time last year. Bennett Academy opens up the game with Ryan Kubacki throwing a deep one downfield to find Rocky Rossinova, coming down with a grab inside the Moline 10. The Red Wings a couple of plays later punch it in, as Kubacki finds Pat Patillo in the flat. Red Wings strike first on their opening drive. Here Adrian Cooper runs it up the middle and bounces it outside to get inside the red zone. Cooper here on the handoff splits through the Red Wings defense and gets in the end zone to make it 7-7. Bennett gets the ball back on offense. Running back Charlie Kane catches it out of the backfield and runs up the sidelines for the first down. Bennett once again strikes through the air as Kubacki, looking for a man, rolls out of the pocket to find Pat Patillo on his back for his second touchdown of the night. Bennett Academy leads 14-7 to end the first quarter. The Red Wings get the ball and look to march down the field, and Kane helps with that with the one-handed snag out of the backfield. They go on to finish the drive as Kubacki threads the needle to Rossinova in the end zone for six. Kubacki and Rossinova combined making it 21-7 before the half. Red Wings are flying on all sides of the ball as Charlie O'Grady's big hit dislodges the ball and is recovered by Martin Redgowski to give Bennett the ball back. Bennett looks to take advantage with good field position, but linebacker Jack Selby and company help make the tackle, letting Bennett only score a field goal. The Red Wings offense though was too much for the Maroons as Kubacki scrambles outside the pocket and gets it done with his feet to score six. Bennett ends the night as they started by throwing the ball through the air. Kubacki throws the ball to Rossinova who comes down with the grab. Bennett Academy take the victory ride back home after beating Moline 38-7.